Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take Two. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel, we've got Jeremiah 17, 14. Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved, for you are the one I praise. Yeah. But, yeah, it's just having faith, keeping my faith going, and just exhausted. Anyway, um, mentally, not anything physical. So let's see what is going on right now besides my hair going ever which way. All right, for the crochet, I have been working on this shawl. I am trying to finish things. I'm not going to start anything. Um, I know I got some yarn the other day when I was in Claremore uh, at a local knit shop, but I'm not making anything of it. I have stored it away and I am trying to finish this one right here. It is coming along nicely. Um, I literally have this much left, so I'm on the last rows um, going across the bottom and I'm hoping to have it done this week. So, you know, that then I'm going to start on the purple one and the white one that I have started and I just have the rows to go back and forth back and forth yeah the long rows to go back and forth um I seem to be able to get to the part where you know I love the thinking part of it and making it then when I get back to the redundancy of going across the bottom to lengthen the stuff that's where I tend to have to put it down and get something else and go back to it and you know, yeah, it is what it is. So I've been working on that, and my goal is to get those three done. Um, probably won't happen. I kind of want them done by the end of the year, but probably won't happen. I'm not sure that I can get all of them done. So anyway, so I went. Oh, sorry, my alarm going off. I'm a little early today. Uh, went out to the tiny house. Okay, and I did some more clearing. Now, this time, I forgot the rake. Um, and so I didn't get, I got more cut down, but I didn't get a lot of it moved because I was having to hand move it, and it kind of tore up my arms, and yeah. Uh, there's sticker bushes out there. There's all kinds of stick tights. I had stick tights everywhere. Um, so I will put that video in right here but I will warn you um Odie had left me a gift and I had to go get a shovel and get rid of it he had caught me a rabbit and it had laid there and passed away um probably a week it was really gross and it stunk so I had to go get a shovel and get rid of that but other than that, um, I'm making progress. So here's that video right here. Okay, so it's Saturday morning, and I always think that I'm going to come out first thing. I'm going to make a video so y'all can see where I start from. Then I get started and think, oh, shoot, forgot to make that video. So today I'm going to try and spend the time pass, uh, pushing this back. Um, there is some decomposing rabbit over there that's really smelly so I'm gonna try and get this corner right here cleaned out um, I forgot the rake so it's really gonna have to um, I may get some more knocked down um, when I left last time I had knocked that down so I may go over there and try and finish up around that big tree and that other tree but I don't know um, I pretty much as far as I get is as far as I get but I, uh, without the rake, I can't really see where I've gotten, so I literally have to go along and just hand pick up what I can find. So, um, I'm going by what falls over. <laughs> it is what it is. So, um, yeah, I'm going to concentrate on this area right here. And, uh, from there, I'm going to move my way back. I want to get that big section out there by the tree. I know you can't hardly see it because the sun coming up, but, um, that section right there. Okay, so I didn't get as much done up here as I wanted. Um, the problem with the Johnson grass is, big dummy me, I forgot the rake. 
and the Johnson grass doesn't pull out like the big ones. The big ones you can see the stems and you can pull them out. And so I didn't get as far on this as I wanted, but I did get over here. I mean, I have to be really careful walking because there's stems everywhere. And that's part of what makes this difficult. Okay, so cleared out this little tree. Didn't do much trimming on it, just getting it some sunlight and hoping that we get some rain. If we get some rain, these trees, because they can now get to the water, might be safe. Well, that one I next weekend. Next weekend. I'll get to that one. Um, but I did get a little more done on this. I got the bolt out of the swing so I can go and get it to replace. I got the far side um, of the house over here cleared out. Um, and again, it looks a little rough and it's because I don't have the right to pull out and see what's done and what's not. So it is what it is. Um, I did find, I want to say this is my core belt. I can't remember the name of them, but looky here. I have another plant that has survived this catastrophe. It's not a catastrophe, but this neglect, okay? And that might be another one right there. It sure enough is. So I have two of them right here. I am happy to see them. And I will get some markers or something to them um, when I get a chance. Uh, hopefully they will get some water and they will spring back. So I'm slowly finding some plants that have survived and that's making me happy. Uh, but I got a little further back there. Of course, now we can see from one tree to the next. I'm sorry, my nose is running. Um, gotten almost back to the fence. Almost got these two connected. Um, and almost back to the fence through there. Uh, I did get a shovel and remove the dog's gift to me. I've got this, which is going to be thick, and, and, that, and then I have some more on that back corner and behind the swing. And I think once I get those things done, it'll be really coming together. So, anyway, that's this weekend's update. I am hot, I'm tired, and I am going to take a shower and go relax and see what else I get into at the other house. I've got laundry to do, dishes, you know, the, you know the drill from one house to the next. Okay, so that's the tiny house. Now, um, trying to decide what order to do things in, and I guess next I'll do an RJ update. So I got this in the mail. Says, love is patient, love is kind. One Corinthians 13, 4. It's a beautiful picture of Macy and RJ. And of course, their announcement, it says, Macy Brown and RJ Straw request the pleasure of your company at their wedding, Saturday, November 4th, 2024. Seating begins at 4.30. Ceremony begins at 5. Then it gives the address. Um, it says, dinner to follow. Cash bar, please RSVP via text or by mail with envelope provided, which I don't need an envelope. Um, and then it gives a phone number and it says text name and number of guests attending. And I just text roommate and I would be there. So yeah, they're getting married and it's happening in a little over a month. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, the other thing that I've been doing is work is slow. And so with it being quiet, I have a chance to work on some things. And this week I uh, have contemplated a few things. So the first thing that I did was on my way back from the farm this weekend. And my weekend routine is I normally spend Saturday at the farm. And I can pull off about four or five hours in the heat, just depending. And then I come back here and then Sunday I clean, 
do the grocery shopping and take care of this house. So I'm taking doing that house or the tiny house on Saturday, this house on Sunday. And then during the week, um, I go to work and come back and eat, you know, sleep. It, it's really my whole day is shop work. I don't know why. So on Saturday, I stopped by the local lumber yard to get the stuff to fix the swing. And, um, I got some prices and I planned out my floor. Now, one thing that I have, I've been doing a little research at work, um, just because I want this to be warm, cool in the summer. This is, I, I, I want this done. It's going to be done probably overkill. Um, just because I want it to be insulated really well. I want it to withstand the test of time, you know. So, uh, I did look into, uh, reflex it. It's some insulation for the floor. And not only is it insulation, it's also a water barrier. Um, they said that it would keep everything. And so if my sub flooring is just going to be OSB, uh, the joists are up off the ground. They're not touching They're you know, they shouldn't have too much moisture, but then the, the OSB would be the one I need to protect. So I'm going to put that and then the OSB down and then I'll start working on the walls. But I got prices on that and all that. And then I got to thinking about it. And one thing that, that staying in this house has taught me is that I don't need as much bathroom as I thought I did. So this bathroom that's been cut out of the bedroom is only five foot wide. And it has a sink, the stool, and the shower. And remember, I'm only putting in one sink. Um, and that is in the kitchen. Okay. It's 20 by 20. It's 400 square feet. I mean, the walk from the bath, from my bed to the bathroom is about the same as the walk from the bathroom to the kitchen sink. So, I mean, you're not going over 20 feet to anything. Just saying. So I've decided I'm going to mimic this bathroom. And instead of having, I had it narrower where the opening was like this. I am going to actually add that little pathway and cut a little corner out and it will do just fine. I'm going to mimic this bathroom and then that is going to give me more wall space here. Um, what I'm going to do with that wall space, uh, I have got, I'm going to put a long mirror first off. Okay. So that goes right by the stool, the long mirror. Um, the other thing is, is that I've got those shelves that I just bought for the, my room in here. And I'm going to have to use those for storage because I've started realistically looking at all the things that, you know, I mean, I've made the list and I'm going to take my sewing machine, my, my serger, my, okay. But there's things that people don't think about. And I've tried to think of all those things and I made a list oh, I'm sorry uh I've made a list of those things uh I've been working I just started the kitchen sink and the cabinets I don't know how long they're going to be yet and that's one of the things I've got to get out there and mark but I need the floor in so that I can actually use masking tape and mark it out before I build anything so uh of course, then I still have my measurements that I'm getting. Uh, I know how wide stuff's going to be, the bathroom closet. You know, I think I talked to you guys about that one. You know, these are all my lists. Um, the one that's an important one that I, I have been, uh, and it's because I've been thinking about storage. So above the beams, or above the rafters there, there is going to be one section that's floored. It's going to have my decorations for fall, Christmas, and spring. Those are the only things I decorate for. Um, and then my fiber will be up in the rafters. But, and I've always known that part, okay? I'm like, oh yeah, that'll work. 
then I have the shelves for, you know, the, my books and knickknack. I have one shelf designated books and knickknack. I can put as many shelves on the walls as I want and incorporate them into interior, the interior decorating kind of thing. That's great. But let me ask you this. <laughs> have you ever thought of the stuff that you have to take when you move? I mean, we all have stuff, right? But the broom, the dustpan, then where am I going to put the ironing board and the iron? So I need a little closet for this, which I have a closet in mind. I just didn't realize what all was going to be in there. So the bookshelf that is going to back the closet, there will be another section. Um, so the closet is at the end of my bed is wider than the bookshelf itself. And there's storage underneath the bookshelf, which will have, um, I'm using, I'm going to make a bunch of cloth baskets, huge cloth baskets. Um, I am going to make sure that I have a lot of rope baskets. That, that's going to be a lot of my storage. Um, so that has some, some storage in it itself, but right next to it. So the closet will back the bed. Let me see if I can. Um, and this is why. So the bed will be here. The closet doesn't go all, it goes all the way across the thing. And then in front, see this line right here, th there's a bookshelf that goes in front of there, but it only comes about right there. So this little square right here is going to be that tall closet for my mops, my brooms, my dustpan. <clears throat> my ironing board, my iron. I probably will put a little shelf up on there, you know, just, it's going to have everything. But then I got thinking about all the things that I hadn't thought about. I need a doormat. Okay. I'm going to need coat hooks, key hooks. There's not some place to just throw those in when you come in. Um, I am going to have one of those folding clothes racks to dry, you know, that I can put in the shower and, and let things dry in there. Uh, that will need to be stored away and I need it. The dog needs his bed, his kennel. Where is that going to sit? Um, I'm thinking, and, and this sounds really silly, but I'm thinking of not putting a door on the long closet and putting two tension rods and then putting a curtain across there. But I, that way I could kind of put the dog kennel in there. I, I don't know. So <laughs> haven't figured that part out yet. Um, but yeah, I, I know that like, okay, so I've got tongs, spatula, whisk, can opener, cooking spoons. Um, those things will go in a little container on the cabinet. Okay. <clears throat> My other utensils, my sharp knives, that will be in a drawer. The china cabinet will have all of the dishes and all of my linens. So it'll have everything from towels to sheets to, um, you know, dishcloths, all of that, tablecloths, all of that will be in the bottom of the china cabinet. And then the china cabinet will house all of my dishes, um, plates, bowls, cups, saucers, um, glasses, except for the wine glasses, which go on the wine rack. Okay. My measuring spoons, measuring cups will go in drawer. I'm going to have at least two drawers in the kitchen. Um, my trash can. I honestly don't know. I think I'm going to do a small one and do it underneath the sink. Okay. Because if you remember, there's no trash service out there. So I have to be very conscious of what I do. Um, I will be burning what will burn, not in the cook stove, but outside I will have a burn barrel. Um, the farm always does. So I will be burning that little bit, but I still need a trash can. Okay. Uh, in the bathroom, I'm going to put up a towel bar. And that's one thing that I thought, mm-hmm. So I'll have the little dryer, but the way I situated the bathroom and just like this bathroom in here, there's a towel bar right here. So the shower is right here. You walk, 
you know, this way, this is a pathway to walk. There is a towel bar at the end of this. I'm also going to probably put a couple of shelves, just open face shelves up there. Um, so that will give me storage for curling irons and, um, shampoo and soap and whatever. Soap dish is not on this list. I need, I need a soap dish too. <laughs> one for in the shower and one for the sink. Anyway, so it's lots of little things like that, that I haven't thought about and I haven't figured out where I'm going to purchase it. It could be pretty expensive. Um, so, uh, a shower curtain. I need some kind of shower caddy, uh, because I'll have, which it's going to be a waterfall shower. So I don't know how I'm going to do the caddy yet. I know they have spring loaded tension type corner ones. It'll depend on where the Raptor hits because I'm not putting a ceiling in it. So yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, I'll need a shower, a curtain rod, you know, the shower rod, uh, coasters. I need, I still need the shears and the rods for the doors. Um, I'm going to put one floor lamp and one bedroom lamp. Uh, and then that's where the solar generator comes in. Um, floor mat, coat hooks, key hooks, uh, the iron ironing board, coat rack. I may actually end up using a coat rack to free up room because I have that one closet. In that closet, in the bottom, are going to be bins. The other thing, that shoe rack. Um, I may use a shoe rack and a coat rack right there by the door, you know, and that may be where I store, you know. Um, I do have to purchase a mattress. Yeah. Um, and I want one or two. So I bought the ottoman out here and I'm going to take that to the tiny house when it goes. And in that ottoman, it will go, not have my crochet in it. Um, I have my crochet basket that's going to sit next to the thing. So I have that. And then I have projects stored under the bed. Anyway, uh, I want to throw in it because in the summer I won't use it, but in the winter, I could see myself sitting out there crocheting and needing a throw, you know. Um, then I need, I put a little dog center, uh, dog bed, dog kennel, a place for his toys. He's got some thinking toys that need to go with him. And I need a container for his dog food. Yeah, which I'm thinking is going in the mop thing. You know, I don't know. I, I don't know. Everything's going to go in the mop closet. No, jeez. Uh, I need a toilet paper holder. Now the question is, is am I going to mount it to the wall or is it going to be freestanding? I honestly think I'm going to mount it to the side of the shower. When I turn that shower sideways, I will make it look like a wall and I will, yeah. So I will be building one more wall for the shower, but yeah. Um, Soap dish is not on here, but I need, I've added, um, a hand mixer. I've got to find a place to put my laundry cleaning supplies, my cleaning supplies. That's, yeah, I'm, I'm hoping maybe in the top shelf of that, again, the mop closet, <laughs> I put all the cleaning supplies over there, uh, stuff like dish soap, um, laundry soap, Windex, cleaning rags. I need oven mitts and trash bags. Um. Uh, I need pillows. Yeah, that's something that, you know, I'm going to have to purchase when I get the bed done. I have to get a mattress and pillows for it. So, yeah. Um, smoke and carbon monoxide detectors. Don't know where I'm going to put them yet. I am going to, I, I know kind of where. So I'm going to secure them to the back of one of the rafters so that when you walk in, you don't see them. But I want them really close to the stove because that's the only place it's going to create fire or carbon monoxide. So I want them on a rafter right near that stove. Um, I need a first aid kit. Yeah. I need a step stool. Yes, I'm short. And so if this mop closet is any taller than me and the shelf is tough, I'm going to need that. The kitchen cabinets is what I'm thinking of. And I have my little one step step stool, but I may invest in a two step step stool. Don't know yet. 
Um, I need to, I, I, I've got pictures that I want to hang up. So I'll need, you know, little nail things. I think that I'm going to try and use them all with those 3M removable hooks. Don't know how that's going to go, but we shall see. I need to look at medication storage. I don't take a lot of medication, but I do use supplements from time to time. And I do take ibuprofen and sinus medication. It's just over the counter. Um, I have no idea where I'm going to put those. I, here at this house, we store them in the kitchen. At the farmhouse, they're stored in the bathroom. So I, I really don't know. And I don't want those out. So there may be a little basket in on one of those shelves mm. that has those few little items. You know, it'd be easy to start with the toothpaste and toothbrush. So that kind of stuff. My jewelry. I don't know what I'm going to do with my jewelry box. Um, I'm thinking a shelf above the far side of the bed because I'm going to have a full size bed, but I don't utilize a full, that full area. And honestly, I don't wear a lot of my jewelry, so I'll be thinning it way down. Um, yeah, the other thing is, is I need my Brita filter because I won't have filtered water. Uh, I'm going to be taking my bathroom scale that will probably sit right beside the stool. Um, so yeah, I've been thinking a lot about storage and all the things that, you know, I mean, I'm excited and, and yes, it's picture perfect in my mind and this is where, but actually getting my stuff in there. And making it look the way I want it to look in my mind without certain things showing up that I don't want to be seen. You know, I have decided that in the bathroom, I'm going to do the two small shelves over the towel rack. And then I'm going to purchase a rack for over the stool. Um, or build shelves over the stool. Um. Uh, the ones I priced and the ones that are like the one I have had at the farm, they were not expensive at all. So purchasing them would be well worth, you know, kind of making them the own decor thing. Um, the towels would be on the one above the stool. It'll give me storage, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I've been making lists and trying to figure out where all this stuff is going to go. And I've almost scared myself into, I'm not going to have enough storage. But, you know, I live in one room here. Um, I do have things throughout the house. But it's all thing, all the things that are throughout the house are things that have been taken into consideration when moving in. The only stuff that I don't have consideration for is in the one the one bedroom and that's like the new shelves that I just bought. Now with the new shelves, I am probably going to take those with me just because of the storage factor. And I like not having to dig in those bins. The question is, am I going to build them in? Um, I thought about building them in and making it look like a small closet. That way they're not so obvious. Um, we will see though. It, number one, will depend on where I end up putting them in the tiny house. The living space, I know the things that are going to be in there. I have no idea how it's going to situate. I'm literally just going to play with it and make it work. I've got my three spinning wheels that are going to go in there. Uh, I, there's not a lot of furniture. The center of my tiny home is a big bench table with two benches on the side. I can spin on those benches. I am going to have me either a recliner or a rocker. Um, I, I think a rocker because I want my little ottoman there with my little knitting basket. And that's it. Guys, I, I'm pretty simple. I'm not out to entertain out there. I'm not out to, that is my sanctuary. And while people can come and go, yeah, it it's not about, you know, spending lots of time with me out there. That's my, if I want to see somebody, I'll go see them. I've come to that conclusion. Um, 
But I mean, I'll still have a big table. We all can sit when the kids come. We all sit and gather around the table anyway because I normally cook. So, yeah, that's probably not going to change. And the big table will have enough room for everyone. So, yeah. But anyway, like I said, I've been working on those things, trying to get things planned out worrying myself a little bit over stuff I don't need. God's got this, you know, uh, all the things will work out. Um, I can see the tiny house in my mind. I just can't get it onto paper. I'm not a great artist. So I've been working to kind of get some ideas down so that, that it can be seen. But other than that, yeah, I have been working to finish that one shawl and I told you my routine. It, it's, you know, Saturday farm, Sunday here, Monday through Friday work. So, yeah. All right, you guys, I'm going to get off here. If you have any ideas of anything that I have forgotten, uh, especially on this list, um, things like the doormat, um, an area rug, uh, stuff that I'm going to need things that I have obviously overlooked. If you have anything that I've forgotten, please leave it in the comments down below because I need to prepare everything. So yes. And before I, I got the floor, once I get that, the tiny house is going to go so much faster because it's literally going to be each weekend I can build one section of the wall, which is 10 by 10 or not 10 by 10, but it's a 10 foot by eight foot. And I will be putting up, you know, each the studs, insulating it and drywall. So yeah, it, and I don't know if I'm going to do drywall or some kind of paneling. I have actually started looking at some panelings that are pretty cute. Um, and it literally, would go up so fast, no painting, no anything. And then just, I'm going to trim it out. So, and the thing is, is I don't have to have the house complete to move in. I do have to have the basics. I've got to have my bed, got to have this kitchen and the bathroom. So, oh, speaking of that, I want to show you what I found. Um, I don't know if I showed you this last time, but, uh, yeah, let me see if I have it up. So I found the toilet that I'm going to do. And I may have talked to you guys about this, but it's a continuous composting toilet. So you can see it literally has like a little compost thing and it is, it services four. Now the only problem is, is this is one of my larger investments okay it's going to be almost two thousand dollars to put this stool in but it is waterless it composts and you literally service it three to four times a year um it's a single low profile composting unit installed under the floor it has a, a back door let me Here's the picture. Oops. It literally installs underneath the floor. There's the compost. And then there's the drain pipe that I have to put in or not drain the vent. And other than that, that's it. That's the whole thing. And with the floor made the way it is on the, uh, oh, cabin, it, the thing then I can do it. The other thing that I am looking at is this cook stuff. I'm looking for a better picture. Of course, it's looking for give me a good picture. Okay. So the bottom part. Dang it. Okay. The bottom part would be the fire. The top part would be the little small oven for baking. 
and then on top is where you would cook food and it's going to be two thousand dollars another two thousand so those are my <coughs> two big investments and i mean other than building it and i'm super excited to have narrowed it down and like i said that waterless continuous composting stool is perfect um you literally take a shovel and by the time that it composts the back you the toilet paper everything goes in there and you take it out and by the time that it reaches the back full um especially for one person it should be 90 percent composted down they said and then you just take it out put it in your compost bin and that's almost complete and they said that you just yeah it's awesome so yeah i found that so that right there is going to be my two big things and those things have to be installed before i move in um the sink i've looked at some apron ones i ordered my gosh i can't believe i'm almost forgetting to tell you all this um so i ordered my faucet and you guys are gonna laugh but i uh it's so silly so i've been getting different stuff for the kids for their wedding and i found the perfect uh, what do you call it faucet <sighs> okay so it's a pull down sprayer waterfall sink faucet it's a commercial utility stainless steel sink faucet single handle uh kitchen sink faucet with pull down sprayer and three function and it's brushed nickel or brushed whatever and this is what it looks like now it also does so it does stream mode broom mode which is like a sprayer and then it does rain mode so it does those three right there and i have actually already ordered this it is a 50 some dollar uh faucet and i got it down to 33 something there was a coupon and something else. it was on sale there was a coupon and then it was something with free like that that vendor was offering free shipping or whatever anyway i literally paid i think either 32 30 for it or 33 20 for it i don't know but anyway all right guys i've rambled on enough i'm super excited to be getting stuff but still need to iron everything out still clearing the land a lot of planning but it'll get there get there y'all have a great week i will talk to y'all later and thanks for watching